communications and marketing professional. That's what I've done for, I guess, the last 15 years. And one of my, my roles has always been to lay out the annual report. So I was always inputting financial statements, making sure they look good on the paper, not always quite understanding what story they were telling and what, um, and what the numbers meant, really. So my uncle wants me to join the family business at some point and uh, it's a real estate co company with, pro with properties in the Caribbean and learning financial statements is going to be critical when I decide to make that step. So I decided to take this course so I could upskill a bit. Um, I did three credits of accounting in grad school and I can safely say that those were the worst grades I got in my entire academic career. <laughs> I was really unhappy about it but numbers have always been I guess a struggle for me. I like um, seeing numbers that tell me what decisions to make in marketing. I'm not really good at generating the numbers. And what's been really interesting to me in this program is I'm seeing connections to my current work that I didn't even anticipate. You know, understanding how to calculate numbers that could help me to make decisions in my everyday job. That's been really intriguing and helpful. I'd say the thing that surprised me the most really was how numbers tell a story. I mean, I write words for a living, that's literally what I do. And being able to understand that there are numbers that could be told, sorry, stories that could be told by numbers that can provide evidence for something else I'm writing or to help me make a decision, you know, as a manager, I think that's what has been most compelling to me, the thing that I've most enjoyed learning. It's interesting because where I sit right now, I don't necessarily have a lot of access to financial statements, but I do have to create a budget. So now I think understanding what questions to ask while I'm thinking about how I am charting my budget for the next year and how to get evidence to support, you know, I think that's, that's uh, what I'll be taking into my current role. Mm -hmm.